Greetings, this is Ambassador Willie X. Hurst, and I'm here with my lovely wife. Honey, you want to say something to the people? Greetings, it's Lady Hurst, and we're excited for the message that we have prepared for you on today. Uh, we pray that we do or say something to enlighten you, to encourage you, and we're very excited about the message on today. Amen? Amen. Amen. We have a great message. It's called Influencers. 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 And today in social media and around the world, influencers are having a large impact on our society. Mm -hmm. The definition of influencer is one who ex exerts influence. Correct. One who inspires or guides the action of others. That's the key. They guide the actions of others. Amen. Mm -hmm. And um, the guiding, like you said, Pastor, there are so many celebrities and um, in the musical industry uh, that have uh, millions of followers. And there's some uh, high-profile names. Uh, mm -hmm. For instance, Cardi B has 152 million followers. Wow. And, and that she's influenced, though, right? And yeah. Kim Kardashian has 319 million followers. Yes. Those are high numbers, Pastor. Taylor Swift, 361 million followers. Amen. Oh, my God. Dwayne Wade. Dwayne, excuse me. Dwayne The Rock Johnson has 300 million followers. Amen. 300 million followers. Dwayne Johnson The Rock. 300 million 300 followers. 300 million followers, Pastor. Yes. Now, if you're a first-time viewer, please hit the subscribe button and yes. the notification bell so you can be alerted when we have uh, some more be uh, beautiful topics that we're dealing with. Yes. Who and what in life is influencing you is the question. That's right. What and who in life is influencing you? Social media, the daily news, mm -hmm. whether we believe it or not, we are being influenced. That's right. And we need to make sure our personal influencers are positive. That's right. Lady Hurst, who are some of the positive influences that you had in your life? Well, first and foremost, I would have to say my mother. My mother, Miss Lily Mae Haynes, was such an awesome woman of God and such a beautiful example for me that today, a lot of who I am today is because of my mother's influence, positive influence that my mother had on me. Mm -hmm. uh, she set the stage very high for me, yes. uh, and, and I'm very grateful and thankful for my mother's influence. Mm -hmm. uh, there's others, some other key women out in the community as well. Um, um, my usher instructor, Miss Josephine, uh, mm -hmm. she was another woman that... She wasn't always nice about her presentation, yes. but the impact was, it stuck with me today, and a lot mm -hmm. of the uh, principles and the, the things that I learned from her, they have stood with me today, and there's mm -hmm. many others that I could call, but mm -hmm. I'll just give my mother and Miss Josephine mm -hmm. um, they, that as influencers, as well as, um, mm -hmm. I've had a couple of good first ladies also that have been good influencers to okay. me, and would give me good principles and foundations, and so, yes, I'm very grateful for the women that have been in my life that have influenced me mm -hmm. to be who I am today. Amen. Mm -hmm. See, when we were coming up, they had like role models. So there was people you That's actually right. had physical contact with mm -hmm. in our communities that were the major influencers in our life. Yes. But now with the devices and everything, right. many kids are connected with people that they'll never see, never mm -hmm. touch mm -hmm. physically. Mm -hmm. But they're still being influenced mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in their houses or mm -hmm. wherever they're going. They've mm -hmm. got their face buried in their device. Mm -hmm. So they're having impact. Mm -hmm. On them, even as adults, we're we're looking at things we don't understand. The things that we put in our gates, our eye gates, That's our right. ear gates. That's right. They're influencing us, whether mm -hmm. we know it or not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so today we're going to look at Jesus. He is our influencer. Yes, he is. If Come you're a believer now. in him, he is the example of the influence yes. that we need to have. Yes. In John eight and twelve, the word of the Lord declares, "Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, mm -hmm. I am the light." Of the world mm -hmm. he that followed me shall not walk in darkness but shall have the light of life amen he is the light yes he is he also tells us to let the same mind that's in him be in us yes and we are being transformed into his image yes. by the renewing what of our, our minds, minds. Mm -hmm. jesus is the influencer he is the light yes and we are called mm -hmm. to be influencers yes we are we are called to be influencers that's right pastor in matthew 5 and 13 mm -hmm. It's a beautiful word here. And it's in red if you have one of those fancy Bibles like my wife has. <laughs> and that means it's the word of our Lord Amen. actually speaking to us. Amen. He says, you are the salt of the earth. Yes. But if the salt has lost its savor. Yes. Wherein shall it be salted? Yes. It is thenceforth good for nothing. Nothing. But to be cast out. That's right. To be trodden under the foot of men. Mm -hmm. Salt is an influence. Yes. And that's the analogy that he's showing, that we are like salt. Yes. Everything salt comes in contact with 
it influences, it changes the flavor. That's right. Anyone that comes into our sphere of, uh, of influence mm -hmm. should have some of our flavor, should enhance their life. Yes. Should give them direction if we are what? The light. Come on now. That niece, that nephew, mm -hmm. that co-worker. Yes. That neighbor. Yes. And it says, he says, if the salt has lost its savor or taste, mm -hmm. when we're not being salt, we get repurposed. Mm -hmm. The word for lost savor means to become a fool. Yeah. A simpleton, good for nothing. Mm -hmm. Salt was used as currency, cooking, and a preservative, even used in the sacrificial system at that time, so it was valuable. Mm -hmm. But when it's lost its flavor, what happens? It gets repurposed and gets thrown out on the pavement. Yes. In my in our garage, we have some some rock salt. That's right. That when the ice comes, what do we do? We pour it out. That's so right. It becomes de-icer. That's right. And so we don't want to be repurposed as the children of God, but we want to be used in the purpose that He has us Come for, and that's to influence what the world. Amen. Just like Jesus, Pastor, we are the we are to be the light. Amen. Yes. Yes. And Matthew five, uh, chapter five, verses fourteen through sixteen, and verse. 14 says, you are the light of the world. Amen. Mm -hmm. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. My amen. God. Because there's light there. Amen. And verse 15 says, neither do men light a candle and put it under a basket, but on a candlestick. Amen. And it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Amen. amen. It lights everything up. Yes, it will. And verse 16, it says, you are the light. So shine before men. You have to shine your light before men. Don't let the darkness overtake the light because the light will always overtake that darkness. Amen. Mm -hmm. That they may see the good works and glorify your father, which is in heaven. Amen. And then uh, the definition um, uh, of light is to shine or to manifest. Amen. Yes. yes. Jesus is the light in you. Amen. Our flesh is the basket. Amen. So we must let his light shine through us right pastor Come on now. and that's when we that's how we glorify god amen and influence the world amen when we put when we put our our our, our love in action that's when god will manifest his influence on us amen on the earth amen so when you put that when you have that light and you cover it with a basket you, they cannot see the light come on and as as lady hurst said that our flesh is that basket. Right. So when I behave the way my flesh behaves, Come when I'm on. angry, mm -hmm. when I'm when when I'm being um, being rude to somebody, that's right. I'm covering the light. Come on now. Mm. But the light is in me because when I accepted Jesus Christ, He put the light in yes, us. Yes, He did. Yes, He did. And He wants the light to shine to glorify everything. Yes. See, yes. we're waiting on God to do something. Come on. But everything He's doing, He's gonna do it through us. Yes. And he's put a, his light in us, Thank you, but we don't need to cover the light. We need to take the basket off the light and let the light flow. Amen. And that's when he's being glorified. Yeah. Because right now our world is a dark place. Yes, it is, Pastor. Y'all don't even want to look at the news anymore when I see the crime. Yes. When I see the violence. Yes. When I see all that's going on out there. Yes. And we're looking for the government. Yes. They're looking for laws, mm -hmm. protesting mm -hmm. to try to change the world. Mm -hmm. But that's not what's going to change Come the world. On, say it. Back there in that verse uh, number uh, fifteen, yes, it says that when we light, when we show the light, we are light to the whole house. That's right. When you show up to work, you're supposed to illuminate that workplace. Yes. When you show up to school, the school should be illuminated. That's right. Because when light comes in, it cannot be hid in darkness. That's right. And the one thing about light, it either compels or repels. repels. Mm -hmm. If you turn a light on outside and it's dark, that's right. And you turn the light on, insects are going to come. Right. But there's other animals that's going to run. That's right. So when you let your light shine, you don't know what either they're going to run or they're going to come to you. That's but right. all he said was let your light shine. That's right. And it's up to that individual. Mm -hmm. And so what we need to do, we need to stand up and let our light shine. The yes. violence is going on. Yes. We yes. live in the city of Portland, Oregon. There's yes. lots of violence lots going of on. Violence. And they're looking for answers. They're spending millions of dollars. Come on now. But the, the crime the crime rate and the violence rate is going up. Yes. But what it's going to take is for individuals who yes. are called by God yes. to go out and let their light shine. Let their light because shine. Because we are the ones that are in a connection with Amen. people. And we need to stand up and be heard. Yes. Because we have the message, the yes, good we, news. Yes, we do. Yes, and uh, we do. 2 Corinthians 4 and 7 says, But we have a treasure in these yes, earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of God and, and not of us. us. We have These are our vessels. Yes. Like this right here is a mm. vessel. Yes. But God put something in the vessel. Mm -hmm. In the uh, ancient times, they would bury things like the Dead Sea Scrolls and things inside of clay vessels. Yes. 
But when, when archaeologists realized when they would come to some sites, there was somebody that beat them to the punch. That's right. Come on. Hmm. And somebody would have taken the valuable, the treasure that was in the vessel, but they would see the clay pots broken. And that's what we are. We are clay pots. Yes, but God has Lord. put his light in us, that thank treasure you. in earthen vessels. Yes, and he said, you have excellent power. That means he's put some of his power in yes. you. And he says, he puts a disclaimer on there. He said, don't let it think it's you, but it's me in you. Amen. Hallelujah. And so we want to be <laughs> that light for the yes. world because he's given it to us to yes. be that light. Yes. Um, and we are the change agents. Yes, we so are. it's time for us to stand up and be counted. That's right. And change and influence the world because yes. we are God's influencers. Amen. And that's Amen. why our, 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 our vision is to bring out the victory in you. Yes. Because you have victory inside of you because he right. said it. That's right. But we put this flesh on the outside and don't let the light shine to that's the right. world. And that's why the world is a dark place. But we do thank our Lord and Savior that called yes, us out of darkness you, into what? Marvelous. His marvelous light. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. We're delighted. We hope something we said will inspire you. Yes. And let your light shine. Let it shine. We used to sing that song in, in uh, Sunday school. Let it shine. Let it shine. shine let, let it shine. shine. So let your light shine this week because somebody needs it. Somebody, when people can't see, they stumble. That's right. Over the dark. You'll stub your toe when there's no light. Yes. But when you have light, it's illuminated and you can see your way clearly. Amen. So I'm telling you, encouraging people of God yes. to be light. Be light. Don't fight for your victory. But fight from your place of victory. For the victory is already yours. Amen. Amen. We love you. God bless you. Have a blessed you. day.